Hmm, what's with all the wacky outfits and the flapping red ribbons everywhere? Everyone keeps talking about drugs. Okay, let's blow the dust off the textbooks. <laughs> what are drugs? A drug is a substance other than food that provides nutritional support and causes a change in the body. Are all drugs bad? Medicines are legal drugs. Doctors prescribe medicine. Stores can sell medicine. People are allowed to buy medicine. Medicines can be illegal and unsafe though. Hmm, well what should I know about drugs? So let's take a look at medicine and drugs. Medicines have minimal negative effects. Medicine is a science designed to improve the human condition. Medicine generally does not lead to addiction. Medicine usually has a positive connotation. And medicine, well, graduates of medicine are called doctors. Now let's look at drugs. The word drug comes from the French term droga, which is related to drunkenness. It can stupefy the mind. It can carry the risk of addiction. It usually has a negative connotation when you're talking about drugs. Graduates of drugs? Well, no one graduates from drugs with a degree. Hmm, what is drug abuse? Many people don't understand why or how other people become addicted to drugs. They may mistakenly think that those who use drugs lack moral principles or willpower, and that they could stop their drug use simply by choosing to. In reality, drug addiction is a complex disease and quitting usually takes much more than good intentions or a strong will. Drugs can change the brain in ways that make quitting hard, even for those who want to. But you know what? There's hope for the hopeless. You know, I've seen people drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. Isn't that unsafe and illegal? The abuse of alcohol and illegal drugs is costly to the United States. Cigarettes and alcohol are two other kinds of legal drugs. In the United States, adults 18 and older can buy cigarettes. People that are 21 and older can buy alcohol. But smoking and excessive drinking are not healthy for adults and are off limits for kids. There are short-term effects of smoking tobacco. Increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, and increased breathing are all attributed to smoking tobacco. There are long-term risks of smoking tobacco. People who smoke tobacco have a greatly increased risk of cancer. Lung cancer when smoked, oral cancer when chewed, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, heart disease, leukemia, cataracts, and pneumonia. Those all sound like terrible things. There are many determining factors in alcohol's effects. How much you drink, how often you drink, your age, your health status, and your family history. Why do people drink alcohol? People drink alcohol to socialize, celebrate, and relax. Alcohol often has a strong effect on people, and throughout history, people have struggled to understand and manage alcohol's power. Why does alcohol cause people to act and feel differently? How much is too much? Why do some people become addicted while others do not? An estimated 88,000 people die every year from alcohol-related causes. Alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of death in the United States. The first is tobacco, and the second is poor diet and physical activity. Hmm, how are drugs taken? Well, some are inhaled, some are injected, some are smoked, some are consumed, some are absorbed by a patch on the skin, and some are dissolved under the tongue. I've heard that medical marijuana is becoming legal in some states. I thought that it was an illegal drug. Which is it? That is a great and very complicated question. This is a great lesson for states' rights versus federal rights. We're not going to get into this in this episode. So, this is an issue that is debated hotly and contested in many different courtrooms across the country. Marijuana is the most widely used illegal drug in the United States. Marijuana is a mind-altering drug. There are negative effects of using marijuana. Increased sensory perception, euphoria, relaxation, slowed reaction time, decreased balance, decreased coordination, increased heart rate, increased appetite, learning disabilities, memory loss, hallucinations, anxiety, panic attacks, psychosis. Hmm. I've heard about medicinal uses of marijuana. How can it help? Diseases that affect the immune system, inflammation, pain, seizures, substance use disorders, and mental disorders. There has been evidence that shows that when youth repeatedly uses marijuana, intelligence can decrease. In mothers that are pregnant, babies that are born have problems with attention, memory, and problem solving. Oh boy, that was a lot of information. I know it sounds cliche, but drug-free is the way to be. Take care of yourself and each other.